Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arimola Badmus. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. And um, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to begin to try to write out some codes. Now, remember that I did mention something here, so don't forget to we'll see why test isolation is important. So the first thing that I want to do is um, we want to visit, right? So let's just leave this here. So I mentioned that uh, we're going to do something about our CY dot fixture. So what we just do is we create it as a before hook. Let me quickly just quickly write the um, let me quickly write the uh, the uh, callback function. And this time what we just call is uh, we we'll call CY dot uh, fixture, and we'll put in the file that we want inside, which is the selectors. And as we know, we create the then method. And let's just put it there as a um, cell, like we usually do. Create the callback function and um, add this. So we can come here and create a global variable. Let's call the global variable data. So we can come here and say data equals yeah and that's it and this will work for us invariably we can quickly try to test it by saying maybe cy dot get let's get the create button um thing let's get it okay to use the same in the same vein let's quickly um see why test isolation is important so we say it this one not passes anymore we, let's change the name here testing email config email token extraction right so let's use that and this the first it block is launch the page well the second it block should be um Click the create button. Create account button. And in this one, we as well do this. And here we can see, well, is that the name create account button? Is that what we put there? Oh yeah, it is create account button. Lucky us. But let us um, have a chaining command there to say maybe should at least exist in the DOM. So let's do this. So let's try to run this and see what happens. What do we have? It launches the page, but as you can see, it is failing this because the next it block is seen as an as an isolated test on its own, right? It is not changed together with the test above. But if we go back here into our command and just enable this, it fixes everything for us. We can just restart the test and you will see what happens. So in the same vein, we want to see if our fixture file works. Remember that we've um, created a fixture file in the before book. So let's see if this will work. So let's run it and see. And as you can see, it worked, it clicked it. So that way we'll be able to click through. So that brings us to the end of this video because I don't want us to take a very long time on it. So, um, okay, let me just quickly add one thing, one more thing to it because from here, we need to fill in the full name and the business name. Before we get to the business email where we need to create an inbox and generate an in inbox ID and uh, uh, an email address as well. So before we get there, which we'll do in the next video, let me just quickly fill in the full name and the business name. So we've already created those two before. So we can also just, um, let's copy this eight blocks and, and uh, modify them. So this one would... 
fill in the full name the full name while this will fill in the business name fill in the business name so let's please fill those um you can copy and paste this here then just change everything to type and in this place i put let's say john gomez right and this place let's say the business name is uh, automation one two three right let's say that's the business name so we just need to get the right one the full name field and the business name field so we need to get those into things so we just say business name field is here and the full name field i can take from a history right <clears throat> so we've done this let's test this if it works so in the next video if if this works in the next video we're not filling the email address okay so it works so we now get to the email address part of things in the next video um or should we fill in the phone numbers as well uh becoming an illegal twist definitely fill in the phone numbers so <clears throat> we are going to copy and paste this again to make it faster so fill in um number and what's the last one uh the registration number so we are just going to do this the registration number fill in the registration number and um this one could just have an at and that becomes it you know we've tested manually before and this will just become a uh, those um two three four eight one 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 and count is four seven i think this is complete here yeah. so we have this there we just need to put the phone number field and uh, the registration field so we put the phone field and the biz reg field the phone field and the biz reg field we paste it there okay and the phone field from a keyboard yep i think this is okay so if we run this now we should have filled everything except the business email so in the next video we'll be able to show you how you can use the mail slot client to generate your email then we can move on to the next so if you've gotten this far please do not forget to like and subscribe and also give me thumbs up because i'm trying my best to make things easy for you see you in the next video bye bye